Aw, oh, not you again, you son of a bitch. You've unscrewed us so many times. Alright, fast forwarding through the explosion of the giant of Babil. Alright, so guess what? You uh, don't have to fight the giant of Babil or the tower of Babel anymore. You've been in there three times, four times, something like that already. Fast forwarding through dialogue here. Alright, so, time to go to the moon, right? So I'll click the crystal. See what happens when we get there. Fast forward to the moon, and we're off! But wait! What's this? Rosa? Why are you here? You dumb bitch. Yeah, well, couldn't go to the moon without at least four people, right? Oh, crap, not you two. Rosa and Cecil were making out, and you ruined it. Okay, welcome back to uh, the Final Fantasy IV slash 2 walkthrough. Um, new section we're doing here, it's the moon. And uh, this is what I like to call the final frontier. Well, this is the last part of the game, pretty much. I'm not trying to get you uh, too disappointed that the game's about to end soon because we still got a, quite a ways to go here. Um, there's a, a few things we could do, but um, right now we really don't have a, the experience and the level to go do the hammock. So, uh, really. It's, you know, kind of a pain, but we really just need to stick it out and uh, grind some levels, unfortunately. So, uh, I'm going to switch the uh, form around here a little bit. And I'm going to get the uh, attackers where they need to be, and I'm going to change. Alright, I got uh, everybody I want in the front row. And, uh, and do a bit of level grinding here on the outside. And um, basically, our goal would be to hit a. Well, you know what? We'll give it a shot. We'll, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll try and get our uh, beastly summon spell here. But uh, not not sure if I'm going to be able to do it at this level or not. But like I said, we can we can give it a try. If it doesn't work, we'll just grind out a couple of levels inside the cave, and you know. There's a dude right across the way that sells stuff, cabins or whatever. I know he sells ethers and elixirs, so he's bound to sell cabins. Anyways, uh, go ahead, use your cabin or whatever you need to use here. I'm all uh, filled up. So um, let's go ahead and uh, save your game real fast and get healed up. All right, inside we go. There's going to be some pretty tough encounters in here, though. All right. Yes, I'm scared. Right here we have a warlock. Uh, if you got Rosa equipped with mute arrows, you can pretty much just destroy that. And I also, uh, I forgot something. Uh, I'm just going to head ahead and fast forward through this real fast. Edge gain the level, blah, 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 blah. Uh, we, we forgot to do something a while back, which if you've made it this far obviously hasn't been of consequence so um go ahead and hop back on your spaceship here go ahead and take it back to earth and fast forward us to earth and all right we got a ship right here willing and ready for us so we have to go to the underworld shortly okay we get well damn it we got two things we got to do real quick. All right. First off, you remember when uh, 
we went and bonked Yang on the head. Well, we gotta go see his woman. Fast forward up a little bit. All right. Just keep going up and keep going up. All right. Well, that's, that's weird. Um, in the other two versions, the Japanese and the uh, re-release on PlayStation, it uh. If you go back to uh, Yang's wife and have the frying pan or the frying pan of love, you uh, you get a throwing weapon which deals 9,999 damage no matter what you do. So that's you know where to go. Um, you want to usually go there as soon as you're done with the Sylvan Cave and getting the Sylphs. All right. I know that's not gonna be much use to you now probably because you probably already pissed off at me for leading you astray for 30 40 minutes out of the wrong direction but anyways all right uh, back to the underworld all right we're just gonna head down here to the south real quick actually I lied I'm gonna have to edit all this out all right what we want to do is go get that uh I'm gonna fast forward and do some of this right here I'm gonna go get the uh, hovercraft. All right, get the hovercraft. That's where we're gonna need to go in a second. Not yet. All right. So. All right. Uh. I had some uh, messing around there that I did, completely got lost as to where I was going, what I was doing, so I'm going to get the hovercraft over here, near uh, the town of Silveria. You want to uh, come all the way around, and park it. And if you remember correctly, we picked up an item called a rat tail. Alright. And you can do this earlier in the game. But like I said, I completely forgot, so I apologize. Alright, hop back on the hovercraft, swing on around here. This is the last time you're going to need that some bitch, unless you decide to spend hours upon hours playing with yourself in the uh, last cave. Alright, now down to the underworld. Fast forward it here a little bit. Alright, so you remember the blacksmith who didn't want to talk? Well, guess what? He's gonna talk, whether he likes it or not. Alright, so he doesn't want to talk unless he has the legendary adamant, blah blah blah. This is adamant. Alright. Alright, send him on down. And uh, if you do this earlier in the game, he's not going to make the uh, sword for you right away. But since I wait a little while, it's the Sacred Sword Excalibur. 